Hi, I'm Danielle. And I'm Rochelle, the owners of Godiva's Secret Wigs. And we don't normally look quite like this, but we wanted to take this opportunity to share with you what do you do when you put a wig on and it's too full? Like this. <laughs> <laughs> like that. So this is a freedom wig and I always suggest you shake a wig and put it on. So from here, I just want to show you how easy it is to tone down a wig. So I'm always starting with bringing the top back and I want to work around my face. See how it's already starting to make sense if you don't look beyond my forehead. And then I'm just using my fingers like a big tooth comb and I'm just going around to tone it down. Huge difference. Huge difference, right? And that was so easy. So when you get a new wig, you want to give it a shake and you want to start it out like this. This is Nina. I just want to show you, it's a fantastic wig, how we're going to just tone it down. So around the face, just have it make some sense, bring some of these long pieces down. It's already and, getting better, right? Right, right. Mm -hmm. And some clients love Nina full back around here and smooth around the face. Perfect for them. Otherwise, we can tone it and just bring it down. Some clients just like it curly right here. Or you can tone the whole wig down. And Nina's great because you can get a super full look out of it, or you can get a toned down look. Can you turn around just to show? Sure. So Nina, and that is the price tag, Nina starts off super curly, really beautiful. But if that's not the look you always want, and I always suggest use clean, washed hands so you don't have your makeup, no greasy fingers, because it will dirty the wig quicker. And just use your fingers and tone it down. Okay. Ta da! That's it. Better, right? So if you put your wig on and it looks way too full for you, don't take it off right away. Just use your fingers and just tame it down. Take some time. Make it your friend. Bye.